Hey guys, Take Shenanigans here, back with another video, and with the release of the iPhone 8 and the upcoming iPhone 10, one of the major features announced was the support for fast charging. Now, if you don't know, fast charging basically allows you to charge your iPhone up to 50% capacity in under 30 minutes. Now, while this feature is nice, unfortunately, the fast charger isn't included in the box, and you have to buy that power cable and the power brick separately, which can cost up to 80 plus dollars and it can be quite expensive now that being said older iphones technically have the ability to quote unquote fast charge i'll bet this really isn't advertised and it's not really mentioned by apple so today i'm going to show you a way to charge an iphone that doesn't have support for fast charging a little quicker such as the iphone 7 or any iphone below that now, for this video, I'm going to be using an iPhone 6S Plus. Now, as you can see, this is the 6S Plus. It's got the S badge on the front. And so we're going to use this as a base, but this should work with any other iPhone from the 7 and older. Now, as standard with all iPhones, the power brick that usually comes in the box is usually this 5-watt adapter here. This is what's been in every iPhone, probably since the original iPhone. So this is sufficient for smaller iPhones because they had a smaller battery, but this little adapter here, if you have the bigger models like the Plus models, they can take forever to charge. So that can be a problem if you're like on the go and you're trying to get a quick little charge in, that might not be useful. What we'll need to use in order to take advantage of this quote unquote fast charging for the older iPhones is to use a 12 watt or possibly 10 watt power adapter that comes with the iPads. Now this adapter here came, comes with the iPad Pro. This is actually a 12 watt adapter. So either one can work. You can use your 10 watt or 12 watts, but the 10 and 12 watt volts should give us a little bit more power that should be able to charge the iPhone, this iPhone quicker. So for this test, I'm gonna start by plugging in the standard five watt power adapter that comes included with every iPhone out of the box. And we're gonna let it charge for 30 minutes and see how much battery percentage we have after that time remains. Then after that test is complete, I'm going to use the 12 watt adapter that I have here, which the 10 and 12 watt will basically put out the same amount of power more or less, just this one's a little bit more powerful. But we're gonna test with this one for 30 minutes to see how much battery capacity we get after 30 minutes here. And then we're gonna compare the two and then we'll come to a conclusion based on what we see. So I will also have a timer set and I'm gonna use my iPad as the timer so we can calculate how long it takes. So yeah, I will start out with the five watt adapter here. I will be back in 30 minutes and we'll see our progress. Also, I'd like to mention too that before we start this, I also wanted to let you guys know that right now, the battery percentage right now for this iPhone is at 9%. So that will give us a baseline of where it will start and we can base on that from there. minutes has passed and let's see how much percentage battery we had now have using the 5 watt adapter. Now as you can see we're up to 30% now. Originally it was at 9% so we got about a we got a 21% increase over 30 minutes using the 5 watt power adapter. Now that's not like I mentioned it's not bad with the smaller ones but given that you have the plus model it's pretty huge and it takes for it will take forever if you use this 
So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the 12 watt adapter that I have here and compare how much battery percentage we have after 30 minutes. So I will be right back. We'll let this run for 30 minutes. We'll see how much battery has been juiced up with this adapter here. So I'll be back then. <music> So now 30 minutes has passed and let's see how much charge the iPhone has now using the 12 watt adapter. So as you can see, we're up to 58%. Now that is a much bigger, much more significant than the five watt power adapter we were using earlier. That is an increase of 28% battery capacity compared to the 21% from the five watt adapter. Now, if you wanna get the fastest as possible, then I would suggest using the 12 watt adapter as we have here. This right here will put out much more power than the standard 5 watt adapter here that comes in the box with every iPhone. So if you want to get a little bit more charge, a little bit faster, you can use this adapter here. And I will link this in the description below if you want to check it out and get it yourself. So yeah, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments and try to respond to...